the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Dear brothers and sisters, today is the Ember Friday, and it is a penitential day in preparation for Christmas in this uh, uh, week of Advent, the third week of Advent. We are meditating on this preparation for Christmas, and we are into the novena of preparation. Today we celebrate the second day of the novena. And uh, we have chosen as a master teacher for this novena to help us find Jesus in Bethlehem, to embrace him and to give birth to him ourselves, Saint Joseph, the holy spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary and uh, the foster father of Jesus. He is the best person who can help us live through this novena and be ready for Christmas. Today, we contemplate the mystery of the visitation. This is the Gospel of Saint Luke that we just proclaimed the mystery of Our Lady going to visit Elizabeth, her cousin. And this after she uh, received the Annunciation from the angel and she gave her consent and uh, the Divine Word took flesh in her. The, the Divine Conception of Jesus was accomplished. And uh, after hearing from the angel that Elizabeth, her cousin, was pregnant and she was in her sixth month, a lady wanted to go, uh, to, to go to see her, to help her, in order to accomplish the, God, the, the will of God. With Saint Joseph, now we can meditate on this important mystery. There is a servant of God and a mystic Benedictine nun, Mother Cecilia Mary Bai, an Italian Benedictine nun who lived across the 17th, 18th century. And she received special private locutions, revelations about the glorious life of the patriarch, Saint Joseph. And she wrote a masterpiece uh, on Saint Joseph, the life of the patriarch, Saint Joseph, as revealed to her. It is a very insightful uh, work. And uh, Mother Cecilia Bai, in uh, referring this mystery of the visitation, she says that Saint Joseph accompanied a lady to visit Elizabeth. It was fitting, in fact, if we reflect on this, that a young lady uh, could have some help from the husband. They were already married, of course, and Saint Joseph wanted to uh, accompany his wife. It was a long, long journey just to have an idea from Nazareth where they were to Ain Karim, uh, the very south part of Galilee and uh, of Judea, from Galilee to Judea. This is south and then even Jerusalem. It is uh, more than 60 miles to have an idea, all the way down and walking. Joseph wanted to uh, be with his wife. And in this beautiful life written by Mother Cecilia Bai, we uh, read that during that journey, there was a, a, a discourse, there was an exchange of, uh, between St. Joseph and Our Lady. And the both were uh, discussing about the coming of the Messiah. Our Lady had already conceived the divine word, but she took that uh, uh, event 
she, she concealed that mystery from uh, Saint Joseph and she waited for God. She was so humble that she was even afraid in some way to reveal what happened in her womb to Saint Joseph. She was waiting for God. Saint Joseph was not aware, and this is very well highlighted by Mother Cecilia Bai, of that conception. But uh, of course, Jesus was already present in his wife's womb, and uh, the presence was, was grace filled, and Saint Joseph was enriched by such a divine grace. And during that journey, they were both uh, uh, hoping, uh, St. Joseph in particular was hoping that the Messiah could come very soon. Uh, and uh, during that journey, also on the way back, because St. Joseph uh, brought his wife there, and then after a while he returned to Nazareth, and after three months, alerted by the angel, he went back to see, to, to pick up his wife again. But uh, during this journey, uh, Our Lady was interceding for Saint Joseph that the Divine Lord, the Divine Son already present in heaven, were, could also uh, enrich St. Joseph with a particular, more abundant grace so that they both could grow in that sanctifying grace to praise God, to praise, uh, to praise the divine majesty. And St. Joseph, through that intercession, through Our Lady and Jesus present in her, was enriched by such a divine grace to be completely imbued by God. We can then reflect on the presence of Saint Joseph and the charity accomplished by Our Lady, which was uh, carried out by the cooperation of Saint Joseph. That mystery, the visitation, which is a mystery of charity, was accomplished through the presence of Joseph. So in preparation for this Christmas, we today reflect on this beautiful mystery, Our Lady uh, helping her cousin, Our Lady sanctifying John the Baptist with Jesus. But of course, before doing that, Our Lady was sanctifying uh, the husband, Joseph, who was particularly uh, sanctified by the presence of Jesus in heaven. But everything was accomplished through Our Lady with the presence of Joseph of Nazareth. So today we are inspired to be with Our Lady as Saint Joseph did, to accompany Our Lady in this journey towards Jesus, towards his birth. The best way to undertake this journey is to choose Joseph of Nazareth with us. Because if we have Saint Joseph, if we journey with Saint Joseph, we are enriched as he was by that grace. The grace to be holy, to be sanctified by the presence of Christ in Our Lady. Let us learn from this mystery that the charity that we are called to put into practice is an exquisite love for our neighbor, for those in need, but that charity is the presence of God with us, the presence of God with Our Lady, and Saint Joseph was witness to this presence. So let us always keep in mind that charity is uh, discovering always the presence of Jesus, the hidden presence of Jesus in our neighbor, in our 
in our cells through the mediation of Saint Joseph. We pray during the, the second day of the Novena to Saint Joseph that we can also, like him, take Our Lady with us and accompany Our Lady, escort Our Lady in her act of charity to Elizabeth. We pray to Saint Joseph to be always able to be with Our Lady, never to leave her, to live in union with Our Lady, because in this admirable union with Our Lady, we can uh, give birth to Jesus ourselves, and we can be part of that family, the family of Nazareth. We ask St. Joseph to give us this grace today, to be with him and to be with them through him at Bethlehem, at the birth of our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.